<laughs> I feel like I look like I'm drowning. Hi, welcome back to The Golden Prescription. This is your source for professional skincare knowledge on YouTube. My name is Nye, LA Beautyologist on both Instagram and Twitter. And welcome back to my channel. Today's video we're talking about oil cleansing. Obviously, you know I love cleansing because I created the 60 second rule. It's the very first step in your routine and it's really important to get that part right before you can do anything else. Oil cleansing is the act of using an oil to remove makeup, dirt, debris, bacteria, dead skin cells, pore blockages, and of course, waxy sebum from the surface of the skin. Well, let's get a little sciency. Now, oil dissolves oil, it's chemistry. And remember, water and oil don't mix. So traditional cleansers, like ones that foam, have to use surfactants in those water-based cleansers to bind to oil, which then allows the water to wash it away. An oil cleanser uses oils to attract the lipids in your pores and on the surface of your skin, and that's what washes it away. So you can oil cleanse to remove makeup. You can oil cleanse if you haven't worn makeup, your acne pones, if you have combo skin, dry skin. You can literally oil cleanse all of the time. Oil cleansing is always the first step. You wanna start on dry skin. It doesn't have to be clean skin, but it needs to be dry. Because if you apply water, now you're preventing the oil from binding to the oils on your skin. Makeup has a lot of oils and silicones in it, so it really helps to break that down. SPFs that can be really thick and greasy, oil cleansing dissolves all of it. Generally, I just recommend for oil cleansing to be done at nighttime. You can do it in the morning, but a nighttime cleanse is more to take the day off, so to speak. A AM cleanse is more so to just prepare your skin for the products that you're going to apply to protect you for the daytime. And there's so many different types of oil cleansers. You can use a cleansing balm like Pharmacy Green Clean or there's a Vanilla Co one that I see a lot of people use or like Clinique Take the Day Off. Those are all cleansing balms designed to remove makeup but can also be used just as a general oil cleanser with no makeup as well. Oil cleansing is the first part of a two-step cleansing routine. So you always wanna follow up with a gentle foaming cleanser, one that's more targeted to your skin's needs. However, I have found that if you have super dry skin and are in a harsh climate, like it's winter time, you can just oil cleanse as long as you're using the right oils and your skin will thank you for it. I was in New York and Boston last year. It was winter time, it was freezing cold, and all I did was oil cleanse. I didn't use anything else on my skin um, because my skin was really sensitive at the time and it worked out amazing. You can cleanse with like a natural carrier oil or you can cleanse with an oil cleansing product. In my nighttime routine video, you see me use Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse, which is one of my favorite, favorite oil cleansers. I also love oil cleansers from Eminence, DHC, PCA Skin, and Fresh Beauty. And yes, you can also cleanse with just regular natural oils. The difference between a natural oil and an oil cleansing product is that an oil cleansing product has surfactants in it as well. So when you add water, it kind of emulsifies and gets white. That lets you know that the oil has binded to the water and it helps you just rinse it off easier. If you're using a natural oil, you're gonna wanna make sure that you remove it with like a damp cloth. If you have acne prone skin, oil cleansing is going to loosen congestion in your pores in a really gentle, non-inflammatory way. If you have oily skin, oil cleansing is going to remove those excess oils without stripping the skin or over drying you out. And if you have dry skin, oil cleansing is gonna replenish and nourish your skin that lacks oil. So if you wanna use a natural oil, does that mean you can just run to your kitchen and pick any old oil? Not quite. Now with natural oils, you can have oils high in linoleic acid or high in oleic acid. Both linoleic acid and oleic acid are omega fatty acids. So your skin already produces them, your skin already has them present, but depending on your skin type, you may have more of one than the other. Oily skin tends to have more oleic acid, whereas dry skin tends to have more linoleic acid. 
So if you're trying to oil cleanse with a natural oil, look for the opposite. If you have oily skin, you want an oil cleanser high in linoleic acid. Your best option for cleansing oils are gonna be safflower oil, sunflower oil, hemp seed oil is amazing. It smells a little funny, but it's extremely anti-inflammatory. Evening primrose oil, sea buckthorn oil, grapeseed oil, rose hip oil, and black cumin seed oil. They're all very high in linoleic acid. So for oily skin, that's what you need the most. But be aware that oils high in linoleic acid go bad really quickly. The shelf life is like three to six months. If you have dry skin, you want an oil cleanser high in oleic acid. Oils high in oleic acid, like cooking oils, have a longer shelf life because oleic acid kind of works like a preservative. But that's what dry skin needs. Remember, dry skin has linoleic acid present, so you want oleic acid or omega fatty acid 9 same thing so if you're dry go for oils like avocado oil olive oil sweet almond oil marula oil argan oil sesame seed oil and apricot oil eating foods with a high variety of omega fatty acids is also going to be really beneficial to the skin flaxseed is a great source of omega fatty acids salmon walnuts other deep sea fish like mackerel and sardines, and very dark leafy vegetables, healthy foods with high fat content. My favorite part though about oil cleansing is after like three, four, five minutes of just massaging into the skin, sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it takes like 10, 15 minutes, but you can start to feel like little gritty oil plugs come up. It's gross, but it's like so satisfying. So what those oil plugs are, are just solid blocks of sebum that are stuck in your pores. If they appear black or brown, then those are more likely to be just sebaceous filaments, which when your pores are blocked, they can pop out and look like blackheads. So it's very beneficial to get rid of those two. Sometimes you'll get purging with oil cleansing, but not a lot so if you find that like you're still breaking out pretty consistently after you start oil cleansing switch to a different oil cleanser there are so many out there there are so many natural oils you can try there are so many great oil cleansers from brands that you can try there's really an oil cleanser for everybody when i oil cleanse i use pharmacy's cleansing balm um green clean green clean works extremely well it comes with a little spatula Oh, goodbye to my pretty makeup. This isn't the best way to do this. The best way to do this is to use a Q-tip with my cellar water and gently rub, but I am not in the mood to do that. Now when you use a cleansing balm, it's nice to kind of warm it up in your hands first before you apply it to your face. I usually start on my cheeks and then just massage it around. I gently kind of get my mascara and it breaks down like all of it. Make sure that when you're oil cleansing um, to remove makeup that you get all the way into your hairline. A lot of people will break out along their hairline because of um, makeup but also because of hair products. So be sure to cleanse all the way into your hairline. Now cleansing balms are nice because they tend to be a little bit heavier than traditional oil cleansers. So they kind of whisk away um, heavier makeup, SPF, setting powders, you know, all the fun, beautiful things that we put on our face, but should not sleep in. 60 second rule with every single cleanse that you do. Oil cleanse, makeup removal cleanse, um, second cleanse, all of it. Now cleansing balms are nice because they emulsify, right? So I'm gonna add water. Um, and emulsification means that your oil molecules are bonded to the surfactants and the surfactants are binded to the water. So it creates like a white milky, milky texture that just helps you wash it off for real. <laughs> I feel like I look like I'm drowning. This is how they do it in commercials. In commercials they just go like <laughs> Someone asked me like how to wash their face because that's what she was doing. She was like just splashing her face like what she saw in commercials. And I was like, no. <laughs> I'm 
don't do that. Now, one makeup removal will never be enough. Makeup is actually a lot more difficult to remove than it seems like. So, what you could do at this point is cleanse with a, another foaming cleanser or cleanse with another oil cleanser. Makeup removal does not count as a cleansing step. Remove your makeup first and then go into whatever cleansing you're going to be doing. So I'm gonna be using DHC Deep Clean Oil Cleanser. Now DHC, unlike most brands, actually tells you that you should massage it into the skin for 30 to 40 seconds. But what I'm trying to do here is bring up some oil plugs. I've actually not been oil cleansing before I did this video because I just wanted to bring up oil plugs. So I'm hoping my face is sufficiently dirty and will bring up some good stuff. Now oil cleansing is really a time where you can honestly just relax. Um, sometimes I've oil cleansed for 15, 20 minutes, way beyond my 60 second rule because it's nice to just take time for yourself. You can be meditative about it, kind of release stress um, throughout your day. Your face builds up a lot of tension underneath your eyes, in your sinus area, in your chin and jaw. A lot of people clamp their jaw when they're stressed. They furrow their brow and then you have a lot of tension between your eyebrows. So really like focus on every area of the face, but go very gently, go very slowly um, and apply solid, gentle pressure all throughout. And like, if you can, don't rush. And we have busy lives, right? You have kids, you have, you know, family to tend to, you have busy jobs, you have brunch to go to, whatever it is. So, I mean, this obviously isn't something that you can do all of the time, but if you can oil cleanse for 15 minutes once a week, like that's a win right there. Cause that's your own little personal me time meditative session um, where you take care of your skin, but you also take care of the muscles underneath it. You're releasing tension, you're um, lowering your cortisol levels, um, which in turn does in fact make you a healthier person. So don't feel guilty. And when I oil cleanse, I sometimes I'll like wander around the house. I'll lay down. I'll kind of just vibe out, put some music on. Sometimes oil plugs will come up and that's normal. It's a very sometimesy thing. Now the other thing an extensive oil cleansing does is bring in a lot of circulation to the face. Um, by bringing in a lot of circulation, increasing blood flow, you really allow the skin to get a lot of nutrients from the blood, um, you're expanding those capillaries, and you're gonna glow like from within. When you massage your face, always work from the inside out. It's gonna help push lymph um, and fluids out of your face and back circulate through the body. It kind of gives the skin a nice contour. I know you guys aren't professional massage therapists, so no need to go too crazy on the massage movements, but just do what feels good and try and find areas of tension in your face. So, you know, when you're going about your day, you can kind of like be cognizant of the way that you like tense your muscles and things. Now, since this is an oil cleansing product, I can just add water and it will emulsify, like you can see on my hands. But hypothetically, let's say this was um, grapeseed oil or almond oil or sunflower oil or safflower oil or any natural oil that you'd wanna use. The best way to remove it is actually to just use a warm rag or a warm towel, um, a cleansing cloth, or even cotton balls would work in this situation. Now I'm not rubbing hard. This is no exfoliation. I'm just literally wiping away um, oil. You could also just add your traditional cleanser right onto your oil and just wash it off that way. Um, but I find that that does sometimes leave a little bit, a little tiny bit of a film and that you'd still want to go in again with just the oil. So for me, I don't think 
that that is the best way to do it, but some people do it and some people love it. So kind of find the best way that works for you time-wise. Utilize what you have at home. Don't make it some big ordeal. Skincare is supposed to be fun and doesn't have to be stressful. Now I'm gonna finish the rest of my skincare routine following my skincare routine recommendation that has been shared a bunch of times. And I'm gonna explain how to utilize the order that you're supposed to apply all your skincare products. Thank you for watching my full oil cleansing video. If you want to see me complete my skincare routine, I will leave that video somewhere on the screen. You'll find it, I'm sure. It will be somewhere. Please share your like experiences or questions or concerns with oil cleansing down in the comments and I'll be answering your questions as we go along. Thank you so much for watching. This is The Golden Prescription, your source for professional skincare knowledge on YouTube. My name is Nye, LA Beautyologist on both Instagram and Twitter. And remember, if it doesn't feed you, don't water it.